guys, I am back with yet another new box, because this is Lindsay, and are we not surprised? Although I did give you a heads up, this one was coming. Although I didn't know if I specifically said it was this box. So basically what I have done is I have canceled some of my young adult book boxes because I've been getting more into reading adult books. So I wanted to try out some adult book boxes, and I had to cancel some of the young adult ones because money be a thing. Um, so this is the second of the two new boxes that I am trying. This is freshfiction.com. Um, it's, I'm not sure if it's specifically romance. I think it's specifically women's fiction, but obviously it has some romance in it because women's fiction. And Buffy wants to come in. Hi, Buffy. So there's that. So yeah. Um, I will put the website and the price points down below for anyone who is interested. And yeah, let's just get going. So here is the cute little pink box. I do like that all these boxes are like pink. It's very nice. And here <coughs> is the overview. And there's a Buffy, if you saw her. So first off, we've got some random like papery things. So here is a... Um, Oh, okay, so cool. So this is a free, uh, I could download a free copy. So this is One Charmed Christmas. Oh my goodness, Buffy. Why? Oh, that's crooked and I can't fix it now. Thank you, Buffy. So this one is Catherine Pine is hoping her Christmas is a bit jollier than last year. The one with her without her husband and with her kids and her family absent this year she's worried but things change when her good friends invite her on a Christmas River cruise to lift her spirits suddenly every day is an adventure and she's making a bunch of new friends including the lovable Sophia Miles so yeah it sounds cute I will definitely download it cuz yay free book and then the next one is this one which is the lady in trouble so it is the league of Lords book one. And this is also a download your free copy book. Could you just lay there Buffy? That would have been fine. Um, this is the first in Tracy Summer's Captivating League of Lords light paranormal series. Ew. Could you just, yes, that's, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> this cat. Oh, okay. So, um, by, uh, Victorian England and the settings for a captivating love affair. He's a vi Viscount with a dark past who yearns for the one woman he can't have. She's rebellious, spurn spurned by society, and determined to change her, change his mind. What's a rebellious woman to do when the man she's meant for doesn't believe in love? Okay, I will take it. That's cool that they give you free downloads. And then here is... I can't, can you guys even see that? Camera, figure yourselves out. It's a cute little sticker, camera's like, no. Buffy's confused me. Buffy really has confused you. Come on, there, there you go. Oh my God. So, oh, okay. So there is what it looks like. So first off, let's see what's in here that's not a book. So I think it's mostly just books, which is fine with me. Um, there is like a couple of candies. So there's that, which is cool. Although the Jolly Rancher is very melted. So let's just get going. So first one is Jade Lee, One Rogue at a Time. Um, a brown-eyed bastard with nothing to lose is the illegitimate son of a duke, Bramwell Wesley by grew up tough on the fringes of society, learning to hide his hurt and cynicism with charm and town polish. He's carved out a place for himself as a mercenary, serving as a bodyguard and a general strong arm for the peerage. Bram has nothing to lose, and needs exactly what Maybell Bluebell Ballinger needs. Meet his match in a blue-eyed beauty with everything to hide. Maybell needs a mentor to teach her to speak and act like a lady, so she can claim the place in society she was denied. 
As they team up to take on the town, Bram knows she's hiding something even from him. Despite the deception he sees behind those sparkling blue eyes, Bram wants to believe that Maybelle's love is no lie, but it seems fate has served him up his just desserts and the likes of this determined damsel. Okay. Very cool. Oh! Autographed by the author. There we go. So that is also cool. And then there's also something in here that also is talking about, I believe, another one of her books. Read for free on Kindle Unlimited. And something about the Were Geeks. <laughs> okay, that might be cute. Chemist Josh is having a blast at a comic book convention when he gets the shock of his life. He's a werewolf, WTF. Before he can howl, he's sisted away to a secret lair by Neo, a hot guy dressed as a <laughs> Roman centurion. Josh's former life is over and his genius is needed. <laughs> I might have to look into that one. That one actually sounds hilarious. So there is that. The next one, we have got it's this one which is actually cool so it's a harlequin love inspired inspirational romance the amish newcomer i've never read an amish one um she needs a safe place to hide instead she found a place to call home television journalist leah porter never imagined her career would end with her witnessing a murder now she's temporarily living among the amish in a witness protection program oh my Instead of feeling alone and adrift, Leah is well warmed, warmly welcomed by the close-knit community and Amish bachelor, Isaac. But caught between two very different worlds, choosing love would mean leaving her English life behind forever. Very cool. So that's neat. And I think Ella wants to go out. So, one second, guys. Ella. Why? Why can't you just stay in the room? Do you want to go out, Buffy? Ah. Okay. And then last, oh no, there's two. This is cool. I like this box. Okay, so next up we have Don't Keep Silent from Elizabeth Goodard. Justice comes easy for these two, but forgiveness, that's another matter altogether. Investigative reporter Ray Burke will do anything to find her missing sister in law, even if it means facing Liam, a man who's almost lost his life saving hers. As a former DEA agent, Liam thought he'd find peace at his Wyoming ranch, but he doesn't feel at home anywhere anymore. And the reporter who blew his cover on an important investigation inserts herself back into his life, he's less than thrilled. But Ray's keen investigation skills have led her down the right path and directly into the dragon's mouth, leaving Liam no, no choice but to protect her. Very cool. So there is that one. And then last but not least is another one that is autographed by the author. Actually, I've, I've heard this author. I'm pretty sure. Actually, is she the one who does? Yeah, she's doing this Wear Geek Save Wisconsin. I need to buy that one. That sounds hilarious. So this is This Heavy Hitter Knows How to Score, Hitting It, a Locker Room Diaries novel. So, making it in the major leagues is all rookie players Robbie Lee has ever dreamed of, but now he's a little overwhelmed with this new celebrity status. Everyone wants a piece of the new heavy hitter for the Indianapolis Bobcats, so he works hard for it and he doesn't have any regrets, although there is one. If journalist Heidi wants to keep her job, she needs to come up with a story fast. That's why she tells her boss that she knows the Bobcats' reclusive new slugger, Rob Lee. And she does. In the biblical sense. During spring break three years ago, she and Rob shared a torrid night on the beach, and she's, wanting, she's wanted him again ever since, but everyone knows reporters and athletes don't mix. Rob's contract doesn't allow him to talk to the press, and her job depends on it, which is driving them both a little crazy. Very cool. And then here is the signature. So that is really cool. So I got two signed books. I got four physical books, and I got two digital books. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of book for, I can't remember how much this one costs. It'll be down below. But I don't think that's a bad price for this, so I'm actually quite pleased with this box. Um, it's definitely, like, everything is romance and 
so maybe it is a romance specific box but I think it's still women's fiction it just kind of depends on what books that they have to put in the box but I'm actually quite pleased with this box I think I think I feel like got, I got quite a bit of stuff so I'm quite happy with it I like that I've got some signed books in there too which is nice because I just kind of assumed this wasn't going to have signed books but I guess it does so that's cool but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the fresh fiction book the book freshfictionbox.com. I'll definitely be keeping it around for a little for a while on the channel. I think this is a really fun box. I like that you don't get a lot of like filler stuff with it. You just get the books. So I cannot complain about that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will see you guys later for the next video. Everyone have a very good rest of the day. Bye!